Top 10 Most Beautiful Fishes in the World Number 10 Blueface Angelfish Blueface angelfish are the most colorful member of angelfish family, native to Indo-Pacific region. As the name indicates they have a deep blue colored face. Blueface angelfishes have a length up to 14 inches. Their body is a mixture of light yellow and blue. Blue angelfishes have a lifespan of 10 years. This species of angelfish used to have foods like shrimps, marine algaes, and squids. It is found as a lovable aquarium fish as it is not all shows aggressive behavior. Number 9 Juvenile Emperor Angelfish Emperor angelfish are some of the most beautiful fish in the world. As a juvenile it looks very different to the appearance they will have as an adult. With a black body and light blue slash white vertical lines on their face, they have three white curved bands on their body, with thinner light blue curves in between. As they develop into adults, their coloring and patterning will completely change, so much so that they were thought to be three different species up until 1933. Adults have yellow and blue stripes which stretch horizontally across their body. These stunning fish reach lengths of up to 15 inches, however in captivity they usually grow to around 12 inches. Number 8 Mandarin Fish These spectacular looking fish are the most beautiful in the ocean. It is native to the Pacific Ocean and lives in sheltered lagoons and inshore reefs. It is covered in tiny spikes which inject toxic mucus into anything or anyone who tries to handle them. The mandarin fish is one of only two species in the world which can produce its own blue coloring. Other animals that appear to be blue such as peacocks, don't actually produce a blue pigment, they have colorless cells which reflect light to make it appear blue. Number 7 Regal Tang the regal tang was another fish which was propelled into popularity from the film Finding Nemo. In the film, Dory is a cartoon version of the regal blue tang, also known as the pallet surgeon fish, common surgeon, pacific blue tang and hippo tang. They have oval shaped bodies which are bright blue in color with a yellow tail and pectoral fin. Adults also have a dark blue line which runs across their dorsal fin and curves at the back of the tail. Their colors changes as they mature. As juveniles they are bright yellow with blue spots near their eyes, and light blue fin tips. As adults their bodies become bluer. Number 6 Lionfish Lionfish are native to the Pacific Ocean and are also known as dragonfish, tigerfish, and scorpionfish. They are actually considered invasive in North America because they don't have any natural predators and eliminate native species. They reproduce quickly, they release up to 30,000 eggs every 7 days, and can easily adapt to new environments. Lionfish are usually anywhere from 2 to 16 inches long and they have the most beautifully striped bodies, arranged in a zebra-like pattern. Their feathery-like fins are attractive to smaller fish, and lure them in. Although they might look harmless, they actually have venomous spikes which they use for self-defense. They have been known to sting humans, and whilst the side effects aren't nice, vomiting, dizziness and nausea, the venom is not fatal. Number 5 French Angelfish This beautiful fish is native to the shallow reefs of the Bahamas, Florida, and the Caribbean. It looks quite different as a juvenile, and has vertical stripes running down its body. As it matures, the stripes disappear and leave a deep grey slash black colored body with flakes of yellow. In the wild, they are often seen in pairs. However in the aquarium, only one angelfish should be kept per tank. They need a large tank to allow them plenty of swimming space. They can also become territorial so will need plenty of hiding places using rock work. The French angelfish should always be the last addition to a tank so it hasn't already claimed a territory. Number 4 Picasso Triggerfish Another beautiful fish is the Picasso triggerfish, also known as the Humoamu triggerfish. Just like the artist it is named after, it has a wacky vibrant painted appearance. With its tan colored body and blue slash black stripes it looks almost cartoon like. They are native to the Indo-Pacific Ocean, and in the aquarium they are an outgoing species that can learn to recognize their owner. Triggerfish can however, also be aggressive and should be kept in a tank with other large fish of a similar size, around 10 inches. 
they also shouldn't be kept with other trigger fish. Number 3 Moorish Idol The Moorish Idol is the pin-up poster fish of coral reefs. They are found in almost every underwater photographer's portfolio, diving pamphlet, and pet store painting. This beautiful fish is native to the coral reefs of the Indo-Pacific Ocean, they have large thick vertical stripes in contrasting black and white. They also have a sunlight yellow patch towards the back of their body. They have long snouts with a vibrant yellowy slash orange mask running across. Moorish idols have a long extravagant filament which trails out from the tip of the dorsal fin. Interestingly they closely resemble butterfly fish, but they are not in the same family despite sharing similar feeding habits. They grow to 9 inches and are extremely difficult to keep in captivity due to the diet and tank size they require. Number 2 Symphysodon Discus This beautiful fish is often thought of as the king of the aquarium, it's a stunning centerpiece and it's not hard to see why. From the front it looks very thin, but from the side they are a round disc shape. They usually reach around 6 inches in length and are very peaceful, elegant, and graceful. Also known as the heckle discus and the pineapple fish, discus come in lots of different colors, but the red coloring is considered to be one of the most beautiful. They are found in various areas of the Amazon River, and they are one of the most difficult species of freshwater fish to keep due to them requiring pristine water conditions, and being very picky eaters. Number 1 Betta Fish Betta fish, also known as Siamese fighting fish, are one of the most popular aquarium fish. They have been selectively bred to have bright colors and unique tails, and due to their aggressive nature, they were also bred to fight. In the wild, bettas don't display the same beautiful colors that we have achieved through selective breeding in aquariums. They are a lot more dull, to blend in with their natural habitat, rice paddies and floodplains. Bettas are labyrinth fish meaning they can breathe oxygen directly from the air, as well as taking in oxygen through their gills. As we've already mentioned, bettas are quite aggressive and only one male should be kept per tank. They are usually kept in species-only tanks.